porta potties. We've all used them. From being your best friend at a Grateful Dead show, to being your helping hand at a Kansas City Chiefs game, to being the next best thing to indoor plumbing, porta potties are everywhere. You've seen them on construction sites, movie sets, and my backyard. But how do they get there? And more importantly, who takes care of them? I'm Rock Phillips, and on tonight's 6040, I take you into the heart and soul of a porta potty extraordinaire, or what we thought was the worst job of 2006. Or was it? Jerry Walters, 29-year-old healthy single male living in Scottsdale, Arizona, an only child who was raised by his grandparents and graduated from high school at the age of 16. So how does a man who received his PhD from Duke University and once was a gynecologist become a porta potty cleaner? Money, it really just came down to money. And that vaginas started changing. I mean, it started getting to a point where being a gynecologist, I didn't know what to expect. And that's really not what I wanted in my life. But being a porta potty cleaner, isn't that the same of not knowing what to expect? <laughs> well, you're right, Rock. But uh, I tend to look at it more of an investigation or a, a treasure hunt if you will. And a treasure hunt indeed. Jerry went from making a hundred thousand dollars a year as a vagina doctor to almost tripling that as a porta potty cleaner. Yeah, the money really amazed me too. I mean the fact that people think it's one of the worst jobs around really helps my salary. I'm really happy right now and I love my job, Rock. So I had to see what all the hype was about and really see if this is the worst job, or is it just a myth? All right. Plus, I started to find Jerry kind of attractive in a non-homo sort of way. Excellent. How does it start? All right, Rock. Well, this right here would be, in my business, what we call a good one. Smells like urine. Like incredible urination right there. Bigger, bigger. Yeah, that's clean. That's urine right there. Rock, I want you to smell right here, and I, d I want you to take it slow and hard, okay? Okay. Oh, you, that's strong. Do you see the difference now between the two of those smells? It's strong. like a red and white wine. I can yeah. tell the difference right red away. Are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Rock. That's disgusting. Ooh, winner, winner, chicken dinner. You see, you, you see how it's runny there, don't you? That looks like diarrhea. Whoa, look at this. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> Rock, you gotta get a smell of this. Just go. Ooh. Rock, hey, come on, Rock. This, this is double cheeseburger with some bacon. Wow. Do you see the particles? Women I, usually I have, see... it's a softer smear. It let me, smears let me, let me is... take a little smell. That tastes pretty good. It's really just a matter of how far you put your hand in. Can I stick my hand yeah, in there? You sure can. I just, I just really want to do yes. it. Yes. I'm gonna go after some things. It's a, it's a Pepsi can. Wait. Oh my God. Uh, we got a tennis ball. Uh, you know, this is what just ticks me off. Unopened Snickers bar. Nice. Wow. Oh. 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 This is a. Uh, You've got a diamond a, in the rough. That is a giant, massive turd. Record turd. Can you please take this off, please? Yes. This is yes. a uh, code three. Wow. <laughs> we call this a code three. I've got water in my gloves, but it doesn't make me feel weary. Well, Rock, I think that you went and got all the good stuff. This is the easy part of the job, uh -huh. but, but not so fun part of the job, because it's, you know, you don't find anything neat no more. That's it? That's it. Let's do it, Jerry. Let's do it, Rock. Well, good, good. You gotta save a little bit for the martinis. This stuff is edible? Absolutely. My hat goes off to you, Rock. You did a great job. 
Thanks, Jerry. He was right, though. It was like a treasure hunt, and I couldn't have had a better time. <laughs> no, seriously, your job pays more than mine. <laughs> well, you can't have a rock. Not at least until I retire. <laughs> Since last I saw Jerry, he has now moved in with me and we have a couple of puppies together. We wish him the best here at 6040. I'm Rock Phillips, and thanks for watching. <laughs>